Welcome back. The Senate has approved legislation that could make spring forward and fall back a thing of the past. The Sunshine Protection Act would make daylight saving time permanent starting in 2023. If enacted, the measure would mean Americans no longer need to change their clocks twice a year. The bill now heads to the House, where passage would send the legislation to President Joe Biden's desk. And Monica, this always throws me off, so Gosh. I wouldn't miss it. I wouldn't miss it either, and I love I love this daylight saving time like how it is right now. I don't like it when we fall back. I love the extra hour sleep. I don't like the loss of daylight. <laughs> I don't know. The 61 degrees that that is your current temperature at the airport. Northerly winds at five miles per hour. So it's been a beautiful day overall. We did manage to register 74 degrees at the airport in El Paso, 76 in Las Cruces and about 73 degrees in Juarez. Now here's how we compare. On average, El Paso should be getting closer to 72 degrees. Today we were just a couple of degrees above that and about 36 degrees is how we started off this morning. 45 is normal. So as you can see, we were definitely below average this morning. But tonight, going into tomorrow morning, we expect to be quite seasonal. 44 degrees is what we're forecasting in El Paso, 40 in Las Cruces, and about 43 degrees in Juarez. So as you can tell, we'll be quite normal tonight. It'll still feel a little fresh out there, but uh, we do expect to see those temperatures at least staying in the 40s. We do have this cold front that's moving in the first one of two, and this is going to be producing some windy conditions for us on Thursday. So starting tomorrow, we'll start to see those winds slowly beginning to pick up. Nothing major for El Paso, not until Thursday. So for tomorrow, we're looking at 10 to 20 mile per hour winds, 82 degrees, your forecast high. This would be the first 80 degree mark for El Paso, finally registering those 80s for the Sun City. Las Cruces, you've already seen your first 80 degree mark twice already. 80 degrees, your forecast high for tomorrow. Southwesterly winds a little stronger here in the Mesilla Valley, 15 to 25 miles per hour. So that's not just all. We do have another system on this way, and this one will slowly begin to move right over El Paso as it does. It's going to be bringing in a much stronger cold front. This cold front is expected to produce much stronger winds and a much bigger drop in temperature. So let's go ahead and break it down in your nine-day forecast. We're going from 82 degrees. Wednesday to 73 on Thursday. That's about a 10 degree drop. You'll notice that tomorrow I did put in a little dust there, so we do have those winds. We're very dry, so we could see some blowing dust here and there. No brownout conditions whatsoever for El Paso, at least not at for tomorrow. On Thursday, we do expect to see those stronger winds, so we may see some reduced visibility in some areas because of those windy conditions Thursday. We'll cool Friday to 69 degrees. This is as the winds settle, so we'll see a beautiful day Friday. Friday, 77 degrees Saturday, gorgeous spring-like day. First day of spring officially comes in on Sunday, but we're also welcoming some very strong winds as this next cold front pushes through. So we could potentially be talking about a high wind event on Sunday. We'll drop to 65 degrees Monday with windy conditions, maybe wind advisory level winds, and then we'll go ahead and slowly begin to clear and warm. Tuesday of uh, next week all the way through the end of next week. I do want to give a big shout out to our certified weather watcher. This one goes to Miguel Vigil. Thank you so much for allowing us to see just a beautiful shot. And if you would like to be featured on KTSM 9 News, go ahead and submit those beautiful weather photos to us through our social media platforms or email. And by the way, check out KTSM.com for a chance to win an Apple Watch 3. We'll be right back.